hello youtube welcome back to my video in this video i am going to show you how to uh, connect to your remote mysql database through command prompt actually uh, this uh, remote mysql uh, database means which is located in another uh, pc in same network or in another uh, network or in uh, or in internet directly uh, there are some uh, sites which is giving a free internet database internet uh, mysql uh, database so you can use for your uh, web project or in any other project I have some other videos how to uh, create uh, a internet online uh, free database and use it and how to link it to your uh, local uh, projects okay so same way i'm going to create a free online mysql database and uh, uh, going to connect to that mysql database and uh, create a, a table inside that okay so now i'm just searching uh, like a free uh, mysql database online so there are many sites so i'm going to connect uh, to one of that uh, the first one is uh, db4free.net and uh, this is a paid version we can try it uh, for free now uh, going to give try mysql 8 okay they are saying like uh, uh, this is uh, not for suitable for production uh, we can use it for free and uh, only for testing purpose okay so here it is you can usually create an account for free here to test your application okay it's clearly says like it's only for testing don't use it for production so just click on uh, create an account for free and i can see here i can create database name username and password so i'm going to create a database as jinu uh, java and uh, the password i'm giving it as uh, uh, qatar india 123 and again just copy paste same one and the uh, username is this one and password is same and again password is same and they want to write my email address I'm giving my email address and uh, just sign up. Let's see. Okay, we got the confirmation is so the registration is successful and uh, the details of our database will be received to our email. So let me open my email. Okay, I got the mail from uh, the um, db for free dot uh, nine so here it is uh, they are saying to confirm our email uh, by clicking this e link so let me click this link and let's see yes uh, our email has been uh, created i mean the database has been created so these are uh, this is the uh, details of the data, uh, database database name is this one username is this one and uh, the password which we have given is same password and my email is this one now i'm going to show you how to connect uh, to to this mysql uh, database this is actually a remote database example for remote database it is located in web or internet so i'll be connecting to the uh, details of the database are we got we need the server information let me copy paste the details uh, to your notepad here okay so this is the database username and password and uh, the host will be uh, the db.net db4.net okay now i'm going to open uh, mysql uh, through command prompt so just uh, search for cmd command prompt i have not added uh, the uh, mysql to my environment variable so i have to so I have to navigate to the location where I have installed so it's in my C drive program files and in my SQL it is in my SQL server inside bin and uh, we have to open the mysql.exe here so I have I'm navigating to that location just uh, press CD and inside that just copy paste that location so as I told, uh, we have to navigate to this location and we have to open uh, the mysql.exe, okay? Now the command for uh, opening remote mysql is actually this one. So it's like mysql uh, under, uh, hyphen u and you have to put the username of the database and password of the database and uh, the remote IP or host and the database name here, okay? Here it is, here we go. Now uh, as per the command here, let me copy this again just uh, the database name is Jinu uh, Java so here it is copy the database name here and uh, the host name is uh, db.net free so just me let me uh, copy paste here 
and uh, the username is kata india123 paste it as the username and uh, the password is same which we put just paste it here itself okay so here is the command to connect to that uh, database let me copy this one going back to our, our mysql and paste it here and just press enter so I'll just give some time to open that uh, confirmation and if uh, the connection is successful it will ask for the password yes it has given an error like ss is denied with uh, so i guess yeah, it is a problem with the host we just given the host name as this one uh, we should try okay it's saying like the host name to access the server is same one and uh, the port is 3307 so i guess we should uh, specify the port number also so going back to here the uh, to give the port number we should give after uh, the uh, host name just give uh, a hyphen capital p and give our host name as i mean the port number as 3307 okay in our mail uh, it's saying like the port number is 3307 let me copy it completely and again going back to our command line and just paste it here and just press enter let's see here it is so we have connected to our my uh, the free mysql database which is remotely uh, located and uh, we have connected it through uh, command line uh, command prompt okay so the problem with uh, uh, this one was uh, the above one was we didn't specify the uh, port number the default port number for mysql is 3306 but here uh, in in the description it has given that the port number is 07 uh, 3307 so we have just specified it and uh, given a name there and now uh, let's uh, uh, get the databases there just write show databases here it is the database genu javad is there so i'm just putting genu javad and uh, i'm just uh, going to create a table for testing so okay table create table uh test and just specify the uh, column as uh, sl number which is in the uh, 255 let's see okay in 255 and just press enter yes uh, the table has uh, created now let's get the table now show tables yes uh, the table is there and i'm going to insert a value in that insert into a test and uh, sl number the values is one no uh, the colon name is not sl underscore no just as a cell number yes the value has been inserted now let's uh, check the value is there select star from test here it is the value is there so that's all for now we have uh, connected to uh, the remote mysql database we have created a table inside that and uh, we have inserted a value inside that so if you have any doubt in this uh, please comment below i'll be helping you and uh, please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching